Petra, Petra, it's Petra fine I bet you you come here to waste your time Petra, Petra, come think of this line So welcome to Petra fine Hi there, it's Thursday and I've been thinking about exams This week and next week are my half yearly exams for year 11 Which is pretty stressful, amazing, exciting, very nerve wracking I am scared, basically Lots of mixed emotions <laughs> about these exams But these exams are kind of the first ones that really matter. They've been telling me from year seven to now that exams don't matter, but less people are saying that now, which makes me feel like they actually might actually affect my future in some way. But there's some pros and cons about this exam experience. Pro one being that I don't have to go to school when I don't have an exam. So I don't have to go to school on days that I don't have an exam. I can leave after them or arrive just before. So on Monday I showed up in the afternoon. Tuesday I was only at school for an hour. And then I'm not even going to school at all tomorrow because I have no exam. So I'm going to stay home and talk to myself. And not only do I have tomorrow off, I don't have another exam until next Tuesday. So like an extra long weekend to just chill. Because I actually know what I'm doing, because I'm at the stage in senior school where I actually understand things, some exams are completely not stressful, like I rock up to exams and just get to sit down and chill in a room for an hour listening to some Michael Bublé. Which sounds exciting for anyone, I think like music students have got the right idea, we can just sit out, sit around and listen to some tunes. Music! It's not that easy. <laughs> Cons, however, some exams aren't quite as exciting as sitting in a room listening to some Michael Bublé. Yeah, some make me want to cry, however. I tried. I'm, f I'm tired. Exams, though, man. Today alone, I had two exams, Italian written and religion, and I was freaking out, because as someone with a short attention span, exams like my Italian written one, which was two hours long, just freak me out, because I know I'm going to tune out in the middle of that, and I'm going to just start thinking about other things and writing the lyrics to songs in the back of the test paper. So what I did is I tried to answer everything as I possibly could in the quickest amount of time. So I had time at the end where I was just like, oh, drifting off to space. Because I would have, yo. Sweetie pie, honey. Yeah. In the dark. Sorry. I answered everything as quick as I could because I knew at the end I was going to drift off anyway. So. It was, it was a good method. I don't think that's how teachers would really encourage me to do it, but it's worked for my brain and yeah. But probably the worst exam experience I had was my, my Italian speaking exam. Uh, I walked in and there was a tape recorder and it wasn't the fact that she was recording me that freaked me out. It was that I now have to learn how to work this piece of foreign equipment. Like who uses tapes? Gosh. So I sat down and she's like, just unpause it and say your name, love. And I'm like, got this new technological genius and look at the buttons. Uh, um... Sorry, sorry miss, do I press play to unpause it or do I press pause to unpause it? And she's like, oh, just press pause and then say your full name. And I'm like, okay, my full name, I know that. Then I leaned down to the tape recorder. Why I leant down, I don't know, because I wasn't going to lean down for the rest of the test. But I leant down and said in the stupidest voice that has ever come out of my face, Michaela Gray. And I just wanted to, like, go to a corner and stick a pen in my eye. I was just not impressed with my own brain why I did that, I still don't know, it just makes no sense. But like, quick things that bug me on exams, my hair is short so I can't put it up so it goes in my face and I play with it the entire time. I have to remember to wear my glasses so I'm up there on the stage trying to find pens and glasses and I'm freaking out. And today I had to sit on the other side of the room, on the exam hall. The other side, that was weird. That was wrong. I didn't like that. Normally at the back, on the left side, was the front and the right side. And I'm like, what are you doing me people? Throw me off. I only have two exams left, and one of them is my music performance assessment, which is probably the one I'm freaking out about the most, but it should be fun anyway, and then I can just relax and stuff, so that'll be good, and then it's holidays, and yay! So that's all, and I'll see you tomorrow for find out what the fuss is all about Friday. Bye!